Hello everyone, in the previous video we made a basic aura effect like this, it looks okay, but not good enough, so in this video, we're going to make a cooler aura effect. Yes, it can make us feel the energy of the character, that's great. Okay, now let's create it. First we need to take a look at its material. It's similar to the material we used to create the aura effect in the previous video. Both use a noise texture as the base shape of the aura. Then add some modifications to the shape, such as distort, panner, scale etc. Of course, we need to add some masks to make the shape look smooth transition. Okay, we use this texture as the base shape of the aura. You can download these assets for free on my Patreon. Thanks again to Epic for their selfless. In the shape mask, we tile this texture to different degrees and blend them to get a richer shape. So here we use TechScore to control the tiling of the texture. In the first shape, its U tiling is 2. And we used UV offset to increase the randomness of the texture. The dynamic material parameters multiplied by time to control the speed of the panner. Then we added a distort, a very basic distort effect. We will not say more here. Next, we scale the texture from the center so that its shape will look larger. Yes, it looks very clear. And the second shape just keeps default, without scaling or tiling. Here we need to weaken its value. These shapes with the same value is bad. Add these two shapes together and multiply them by the linear gradient to get our shape mask. We can set the speed to zero. Okay, we can see that the effect of these two shapes together is very good. Then there is a world position offset, which is similar to the WPO we made before, using a noise texture multiplied by vortex normal world space. Then multiply it by the linear gradient, because usually the bottom of the material is not needed. That is, the aura effect of the character's feet has too strong a world position offset, so using a gradient mask is a good choice. Okay, this is our world position offset part. Next, let's take a look at opacity and reflection. The normal and world position offset here can be directly connected. Then here is the opacity part. We use shape mask multiplied by Fresnel to add a smooth transition to the edge of the aura. Then multiply it by the alpha channel in the particle color and add two masks that control the shape. The textures we use can be found in the asset folder. Through these masks, the display range of the shape can be kept in the center. We can use textures or nodes to create masks. And finally multiplied by depth fade so we get its opacity. The refraction part also uses this node multiplied by 4, increase its value a little, make sure the value range will be closer to 1, and use lerp to control the intensity of the refraction, it's very simple. And finally it's emissive color. There are some preset colors here, of course, it still needs shape mask, but its value is very small, we need to multiply it by 200, then clamp it to 0 to 1 to get a very clearly color distinction. Make the shape color have some gradient. OK saturate. This is the LDR input. And it's HDR tint. We use dynamic material parameters to control the intensity of the color. It is still multiplied by the output value. And finally multiplied by the particle color. So that we get the emissive color, in general. To make these aura effects wrapped around the character. We usually need a sphere to wrap the character and create the material according to the UV of the sphere. Most of the materials are also a noise texture, tiling, scaling, panner and other operations are performed on it to make the texture animated. Then we add some extra details to it so we will get a good aura effect. Now let's duplicate the Niagara in the previous video and use the new aura material here in the material. Okay, it looks a bit bad. Let's make some changes to it. The basic settings do not need to be adjusted. Just modify the scale color, scale mesh size and dynamic material parameters in the particle update. Then set scale mesh size Z axis to 1.5 so that it will wrap the entire character. We also need to make scale alpha to 0.5. Yes, this looks clearer. 
and set pan speed to 1 to 2. Yes, this is the first one. We can set the size of the aura by user parameters. And we need to do the same operation for the second one. Change the speed to 1 to 2. Set scale alpha to 0.2. The size doesn't need to be adjusted here. Let's take a look. If we think its range is too large, we can change it to 0.6. Now let's set the word position offset. This is the most important part. Different sizes of WPO will produce different appearances. Such as this. Yes, it looks better. In comparison, the original aura looks a bit monotonous. Of course we can also add additional modifications to the first aura to make it look like the second aura. Here is our own play. Okay, so that's all for this video. I hope you like it. Bye.